Okay, Remy Gard appointed Aston Villa manager. We'll ask our assembled panel very quickly. Do we think he's the man to save Aston Villa? I am going to throw to you first, because why not, mate? In one word, no. In a word, no. The, the, the finished Villa. The, the, well, the, no, no. You nearly used another <laughs> F word to describe the name, mate, which is acceptable. They are the finished. Flipping finished, yeah. Really? They're, they're finished. Last season, they, they really struggled. You know, had Villa got relegated last season, you know, would we have said that would have been unfair? No. And then they go and sold their two best players <coughs> and replaced them. I'd have preferred it's... them to, 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 be, to be less good in the FA Cup. <laughs> um, <laughs> to be fair. But yeah. The one time they did turn yeah. up last season, yeah. Exactly, exactly. What, 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 about, what about you? It's just a strange appointment. It's For me, on the outside, it's just not someone they needed. I think they needed... They need someone who knows the Premier League. don't need a manager coming in trying to learn on a job. Yes, he played for Arsenal. You know he's got that experience, but he hasn't got managerial experience in terms of being in this league. It's a tough league, as many managers have found. And <coughs> I don't know, I wouldn't have been. Uh, you know, it's not we we were sat here last week and we were saying, you know, the, the manager's available... Uh, there's, there's clearly a case to be made for him. He's an up and coming manager, isn't he, Robbie? And, uh, you know, you know him more from his playing days at Arsenal. What do you reckon? He's he's got a good reputation. He he did did well at Lyon in France. And can he be worse than Tim Sherwood? <laughs> I mean, that's hey, a, hey, let's find out. <laughs> <that's laughs> no, but that's that's, that's yeah. a question I have to ask. I mean, yeah. everyone's talking about yeah, he hasn't got the experience and that in the league and that. Yes, but Tim Sherwood was just not up for that job. I I just think that job was too big for him. He needs to go down into the lower leagues as well and learn first. But I think the main thing is, like Ira said, I mean, they sold Delph, they sold Ben Teke, they're two best players, right? And they haven't really been replaced them. Well, they've with... replaced, you replaced Christian Ben Teke, you sell for £30 million pounds and you bring in Rudy Gestead. And he is a, he is a monster, aerially. He's a decent you know, player, he is, actually. But you, you, you're replacing, with, he's a championship Level mm. centre forward, you know, he's then, not going to score 20 goals then, in the Premier League. Is but he? then, to be fair, you know, what I mean, you've got Rudy Gustad there, who's brilliant in the air, and Tim Sherr has got him playing tippy tappy around. I mean, get the ball into him at least. Yeah. I mean, I don't know who knows what Remy Gard's going to be like. Mm. I, 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 as a Arsenal fan, and he's you know, I, I know that he's very close with Arsene Wenger, he's one of Arsene Wenger's very first signings at Arsenal, and yeah. Wenger thinks highly of him, um, as a coach as well. I hope that he does well. Um, I'd like to see Villa stay in the Premier League because um, well, I like team, they're a big team, a big yeah. Um, but it's not looking good for them at the moment. It's really not looking good. And if you know, I, I'm hoping he surprises everyone. But at the moment, it's not looking good. I'd have got Joseph Van Gogh back. <laughs> they done well. Hey, I, I, Tim Sherwood trying to play. Tiki Taka football, you know, that I, I, it's like the, the where's he learned that? It's like he's watched it on video, or sort of. It's the equivalent of learning about sex by picking up scraps of porn in a <laughs> forest, isn't it? You know what I mean? Like, oh, you know, by the railway side, and like kids used to uh, back in the day, but yeah, strange looks. But you, you, anyone, over the age, anyone over the age of 30 is probably so. You know exactly what you're on about. Uh, uh, I'm just but, saying that. But the thing is, know, last, week, know. last week we were sat here with we some of the managers who are available, and we've got we've, we had Ped who's, who's off camera at the moment, uh, warming up um, through David Moyes in then. And when you look at it, what Aston Villa look at what the, look what clubs you want to stay in the Premier League do go and get yourself a Pulis. Go and get yourself an Allardyce, and he's got to have a massive job on a Sunday on the course. Like, but you know, go and get yourself a guy who knows how to finish consistently, solidly in the Premier League. Who knows how not to get beat? Moyes want that job though. Do you think Moyes would want the job? Make him want, might... make him want the job. Moyes is just the perfect candidate for them because he'd have them top ten. Yeah, he'd have them turned around. He'd build. He'd give him a bit of money. The thing is, yeah. it is. I don't... Moyes ain't doing that great over in Spain no. either. No, is no, 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 but. The, that is his comfort zone. He knows the Premier League. Mid-table League, Premier League. He makes yeah. them. Comfort zone. He's made them. And yeah, I think, so. you know, Roy, I mean, yeah. like Roy Hodgson, I mean, uh, you wouldn't want him long term, as you imagine, but if you had ambitions to finish 10th in the Premier yeah, League, sort of, Roy Hodgson would get you 10th every single season mm. forever and ever and ever. All right, well, mm. um, obviously, uh, Moyes apparently didn't want to leave to come over yet, yet. so they knew who, well, after yeah, Moyes, I, who's the... That's the well, maybe that's maybe. person you can bring in. Look, we're being down on it. Ultimately, we don't know enough about Remy Gardner. Kirby Schmidt. The, ma- oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. the man who was forever 12 to 1 for every oh, yeah. manager. <laughs> John. Give it to Gustavo. Yeah, oh, God, God, God. Oh, but, no, you know, this, is, this is it, isn't it? You'd either go... Uh, it could be an inspired no, decision. 
The problem is Avram Grant. Oh, <laughs> hey, there's a shout. Yeah, there you go. Ancelotti's free, I'm sure he's <laughs> yeah, yeah. fancied it like uh, you'd walk in, take one look at that squad and go. I think the thing is you, you go one or two ways. You, you take Remy Gard and his glass of red and his beret. Or you take someone like Carl Robinson down at MK and you yeah. and you'd say like but they tried that with Paul Lambert and it didn't yeah. really work. Then also you got have a look at the um the guy, the manager of uh, Watford, I've forgotten his name now. Kiko Flores. Kiko Flores, and he's doing a very good job. We have you know, when he came in I've considered him, so yeah. I think you're asking us the question on what is essentially his first day is going to be this week, isn't it? He's going to, you know, yeah. assess themselves. He'll have watched the game on Monday, Monday night. Spare, and so now to, yeah, so I, I, like I say, it could be an inspired one. I think the, the fear is, without without knowing too much about him from the outside looking in, is that we've seen a number of relatively unknown foreign managers come into the Premier League and how many of them are still in a, in a yeah. job. You know, Arsene Wenger. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Um, but the trick was with that is to, is to appoint him for later in the season or next year and have that wait until, until you bring him in. Yeah. Um, a few more weeks they could have had Mourinho. Hey! <laughs> Brendan Rodgers is around. Yeah, Brendan Rodgers, God. Yeah. No, Brendan Rodgers? We warned him off. No, no. We warned him off. He's the favourite for the Chelsea job. Brendan Rodgers. He should have the yeah. Chelsea job. He's the favourite for the Chelsea he's still got, He's probably still got his training kit. He'll go he's there, there like. play tippy tappy and walk the league. Yeah, absolutely. No um, shit. Hey, let, let us know then. Um, did it, when we got to a good appointment with Villa, can he save them from the drop? Can he go one better than that and finish 15th? Um, or 16th? 17. Uh, let us know in the comments below. Uh, check out the rest of the show. We are talking about Arsenal, we've talked about Everton, we've talked about Mourinho meltdowns and a whole lot more. Subscribe to the Boss YouTube channel and check those segments out.